commander. Uh, with that settled, uh, why don't you speak with you in private? What's on your mind, Doctor? Uh, where are you thinking of going now that the world has ended? I don't know how you know about that or how you have any insurance. Perhaps I might have a suggestion. There is a little known fact that perhaps most of the world's militaries are unfamiliar with. A fact I think you and I are aware of, but cannot speak about. There is a place we can go, totally unaffected by all this, this, <laughs> whatever this is, as you say. What are you getting at, Ferdinand? Speak clearly. My commander, I'm talking about the moon. <laughs> Good commander, with all that settled, might I speak with you in private? What's on your mind, Doctor? Where are you planning to go now that the world has ended? I don't know how you know about that or how you have any assurance. Well, perhaps I might make a suggestion. There is a little known fact that most of the world's militaries are perhaps unaware of. A fact I think that you and I are aware of but are unable to speak about. There is a place, a place we can go totally unaffected by all this, this whatever it is, as you say. What are you getting at, Ferdinand? Speak clearly. Why, Commander, I'm talking about the moon. <laughs> Hello, I'm uh, David Steer. I'm uh, reading for the part of uh, Doctor Tomorrow. And I'm represented by a talent track agency.